PayPal does give you that peace of mind. You can do chargebacks because it's a credit card. Hey guys, I just wanted to answer a big misconception that I've been seeing in the space and I wanted to give you my clear thoughts on if you should you be using PayPal to pay your suppliers in China. And the answer is yes and no, right? So the situations I want to explain to you when you should use PayPal and when it's most appropriate to use it is basically one, you know, you're working with a new supplier and you're paying for samples. That's one of the times when using PayPal is appropriate. Please note that, you know, suppliers tend to charge different fees uh, up to like four to up to 8%. 4% is pretty normal for them to charge you if you're using PayPal, like a 4% PayPal tax for using PayPal. If they use like up to eight, then that's like pretty high, right? 4% is normal, keep that in mind. And, you know, paying this 30% down deposit is also normal to use PayPal. I personally always do wire transfers or I send it via Veeam. But, you know, you know, it, PayPal does give you that peace of mind. You can do chargebacks because it's a credit card with a credit card company or you can, you know, open a case in PayPal, right? I mean, in case your supplier screws it over on that 30% down deposit. So that's the only situation basically when I would use PayPal. I highly, highly do not recommend using PayPal for the rest of the 70% balance, mm -hmm. right? So when you guys are paying on uh, for your goods, normally the supplier terms are gonna be 30% deposit and then 70% right before the goods get shipped, right? What that means is to get started on your production, say it costs $100, $1,000 total. You're gonna put 300 down for them to start the production and let them know you're serious. Then the rest of the 70% is due right before you ship it, right? And then you can get an inspection done and that's how you go through that process. But I just wanted to clarify with you guys my thoughts and you know, reassure some people out there like, hey, when I should use PayPal, when I shouldn't use PayPal. But if you have more questions about you know, using PayPal or you have a scenario that maybe I didn't cover in this video, just let me know and we'll go ahead and cover it, right? And quick feedback. If you guys like the, the shorter format of like me answering these little mini questions please let me know in the comments and i'll go ahead and start doing these a little bit more something i'm experimenting with but other than that if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys around Bye.